Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to the Wind Waker HD. On the last episode, we entered the Tower of the Gods, spent a lot of time on our boat transversing through the first floor, which was mostly underwater. But thanks to that, we were able to get the key, find out how to place statues in the correct colored spots, which is something most kindergartners would probably learn how to do. And we made our way up to the, well, we're still technically on the first floor, aren't we? Yeah, no, we're on the second floor now. Good job. But we helped Mr. Statue up here get to his resting place, which is right on top of this little podium. And he taught us the command melody, which is the melody to take control of, I assume, objects. Right, Mr. Statue? He's gone. He's, he's, he's no longer with us. Godspeed. But on this episode, we're going to be heading off into the second half of the Tower of the Gods, starting with this door, heading probably over to that door, and then we'll begin the backtracking area because this is technically like the point of no return for this for this dungeon, something I'll spoil right now. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a couple new enemies here, like these guys, I still don't know their names. I threw a bomb at a floating skull. What is the picture here? Actually, if I look at things, I can't really do anything here. Maybe I can. Oh, yep, there we go. I see it. Oh, God! Well, did I kill him or did he just fall and he's going to come back and haunt my soul? Well, I'm going to need the uh, grappling hook for this. Bombs will not help me here. You do not kill what cannot be killed. That, and neither do boomerangs. Well, I might have made him mad. Oh, thank God I, make, I can make that in one jump. Well, over there is Mr. Uh, Mr. Cannot Listen. So, you notice when I walk up, when I oh, when I get next to this guy, uh, I cannot, well, I can call him. Really? If I can press the call button. All right, but it looks like he actually will listen. Wait, I knew that. Why, why did I forget that completely? But unfortunately for us, there's literally, literally no path for him to take. Except there's this button right here. So if I step on this button, a path will form. But I can't keep anything here and have Mr. Mr. Statue 2 Jr. follow me. So what I'm going to have to do is command melody this thing up. And just like what happened with the, with the, with the, uh, seagull, with the hoi pair, uh, I can now have, I now have direct control of the statue. And I'm literally moving this character around. The lights turn green because Link's green. <laughs> there's, there's no reasoning for it behind the fact that just signifies that I'm now controlling this guy. So I'm going to move him all the way over here, just across the bridge, and I will go back now. Hopefully, Mr. Uh, Mr. Statue Jr. is not going to listen to me, and he won't, which is good, fortunately for us. I need to get across and get him. Follow me, Mr. Statue Jr. Now, it looks things. I can't bring him with me here either, so let's just uh, drop him. I got one more, one more skull guy to appear with. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, God, go away. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. Why did I get a message? Hey. Okay, looks like he will not be following me here. However, there's a door over there that I can apparently unlock, so... Let's just use you for right now. Okay, stand on that thing. Until then, we are going to be taking a little field trip. Going this way. Just swing back and... Oop, there we go. So, in this room we go. Oh, this room. Huh? 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Dark Nut, one of the strongest enemies in this game. You notice he's wearing complete armor, so it's impossible for me to even hit him. You also notice on his belt, he's wearing a Knight's Crest, so this is the enemy I was talking about where we can get Knight's Crest. The only way to get rid of this guy is to wait until the until you get the counter. Notice I knocked his, I knocked his hat off, and he looks like a little Anubis guy. Do it again, we just hit his head. Unfortunately, we can't hit his head anymore. You also notice that there are strings on the back of his armor. That is his main weakness. Go, go down. That also takes a lot of hits before actually going down. Oh, uh, let's do this. Give me that nice crest. Ooh, it's the goodies treasure chest. Also, Dark Nuts usually drop uh, item spheres. And it's a goodie item sphere. Also got his Knight's Crest, so that was good. What's in the goodie treasure chest? Oh, we got a bow and arrow. Let me put this. Actually, let's put that there. I, I still want my... Uh... <laughs> that's the only thing that's really getting rid of those stupid skull enemies. So, if we now use the B button, we now have our bow and arrow. And I can also control this with the gyroscope. That's, that's why Link's going so crazy. And also why his shoulder is kind of appearing in the, in the shot. But, if I simply press the Y button, I will put an arrow in the in the bow. I will not shoot it until I release it. Like so. That was terrible. I just wasted an arrow for nothing. I could have just simply pressed B and go away. But with the arrow and bow, I can now do this. See that eye right there? See how annoying it looks? Oh, you can just poke the eye. Also, let's try and use it on these enemies. Uh, let's see. Goodbye, and goodbye. Years of first-person experience has really helped me with that thing. So, now that the eye, as soon as we got it, as soon as I can get one of these to do something, why can't I, uh, maybe I'm too far away. And that's exactly what it was. Let's turn around. I almost would have let go there, but I fear like I would have fallen off. Mr. Statue Jr., you waited right here for me. You didn't step on that button continuously. Ah, jumping there would have been a mistake. And now we know exactly what we need to do for those previous rooms with the eyes that we've seen. We need to use our bow and arrow on the eyes in the room. Oh, hello! Go away! I forgot what those enemies' names are called. All right, before we head forward, let's head backwards first. Because there are there there is one eye that we missed downstairs in the first floor, and this should hurt. Did not. This should hurt. It did not. Oh well, fool me once. Oh hello, Mr. Water. Hello, Mr. King of the Lions. Waited right here patiently for me. Please get me over here now. Fortunately, there is absolutely no wind outside inside. Grab it, grab it, grab it. No! Why, Link? Why didn't you grab it? I told you to grab it. What am I here? Oh, the, just the, uh, just that thing up there. I'm gonna get this first eye here, and then I'm gonna head back upstairs. There was another eye that we missed when we grabbed Mr. Junior, or Mr. Mr. Junior. When we grabbed Mr. Statue, the original. Or Mr. Statue Senior now. He's getting old in his days. Excuse me, mister. Also, you might notice that that other statue, one of the, the ones we've been using to put on pedestals, actually came alive. That is not a good sign. Right? Oop. Arrow
arrows don't come cheap. Well, technically you can just pick up arrows by destroying things again. I am disrespecting the dead. I'm sorry. None of you had arrows. I hate you all. There is another treasure chart. Oh, and these things come alive. I don't know, oh, what you simply need to do to fight these guys is we now can use our arrows in combat. So, come on, turn around. There goes that one. While he's stunned, hit the jewel that just abruptly appeared in his back. Oh, and run away from him now because they explode. Take that. Oop, I wasted another arrow. And let's break that. And I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for the arrows, guy. That's how we deal with those enemies. Shoot them in their eye and hit the crystal on their back. I don't need Mr. Mr. High Tide for this. There we go. Now, luckily for us, that treasure chart's, I think, one of many that we can get. Many treasure charts that we've been averaging every dungeon so far. One, two, probably two. Oh, you're supposed to stop there. And good enough. There we go. Just wanted to park him exactly where he used to be. Back upstairs we go. We have one more of the eyes to go mutilate. And then and it's back to the drawing board, or back going forward again. There's only one path we have not yet gone down. Only one path left to go down. Turn my map screen. I would have been very upset if I would have been just slightly off the ledge to the point where that thing, when it came down, would have probably crushed me. I've never actually seen a crushing death in Link before, in Ze Zelda before. Let's see, what is up here? Nothing really. Oh, that mouse was suicidal, that's what. Surprised he landed on that. Okay, why am I up here again? I just wanted to do that just in case I wouldn't have made the first jump. All right, head over to Mr. Statue's lair. What? Did you just try and jump, Link? You can't jump without going walking off a ledge. It's crazy. Oh, we got a whiz robe. I at least remember this enemy's name because it's so annoying. Oh, he what? Oh, he, he woke up. So whiz robe. They like to play long range, and they also shoot out fire. Very annoying. They also like to play the teleporting game, where they don't do anything but teleport. That's gonna hurt. Oh, he also likes to teleport away. Not if I have anything to say about it. And you too. Oop, missed. I didn't hold down the button long enough. There we go. Now that platform will start moving. Let me get over here. And there should be another eye. Nope, this one just goes straight up. I was wrong. There was not another eye. Oh, balls. Well, we got those giant statues now. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of which, while this is happening, oh, balls. While they do this, you need to throw a bomb in their mouth. Take that. Oh, he closed. Because they don't have the jewels in their back, and shooting them in the eye won't really help. Oh, darn it. Take that. Run, 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 run. These guys are worse because of the spikes near their ankles and the fact that they blow up a little bigger. In fact, I think their explosion hurts. Now, this might be the second treasure chart I was talking about just moments ago. Luckily, the giant statue guys drop item spheres usually at uh, Not usually. They kind of do. What is in here? All that for a joy pendant! I feel ripped off. Well, that was everything. Everything down those paths. What are you looking at? There's nothing up there. Oh, well. Joy pendant. Whoa! Almost jumped off and was gonna use. Was gonna, I was gonna use my. Uh, can I jump off and make this? Yes, I can. I was gonna use the Deku leaf and just try and glide myself over to the entrance. Fortunately, I don't have my Deku leaf out. Do I need my Deku leaf anymore? I have the I have the, the bow and arrow, and they certainly take care of the the skulls and skulls right now. There we go. And nothing to worry about except for the statues that just randomly came alive. 
Well, it's not like that's anything new. Mr. Statue here and Mr. Statue Jr. over there certainly came alive. But they've been friendly. Oh, joy, we have keys. Good. Exactly what I want to deal with. It's going to be very hard to shoot these guys. In fact, I shouldn't even try. I should not try. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. So can I, can I, can lightning strike twice? Definitely not. Okay, don't even try anymore. <laughs> it's just embarrassing now. One time is good enough. Should have retired after that. However, boomerang. Should do the trick for us. So you notice there is a door down there. In fact, there should be some goodies in that door if I look at my map. Yes, there are. In the door we go. Oh, this room. This room is, I call the annoying room for multiple reasons. One, well, I just jumped. <laughs> I just jumped to my doom. Luckily for Link, he just magically gets teleported right back to the start. Uh, there's the annoying fire and fire skulls here. Two, there's no floor. Three, don't even think about it. Three, there's going to be a lot of these puzzles that we're going to need to do by hitting the eyes right there. You see, there's a chest right there. That's an item we can go get. We need to hit this eye right here to move. Nope, missed again. Finally hit it. Why did I shoot the last one? To move that platform up and down. Up there is another item that we can go get, so. Oh, thank God I grabbed the ledge. <laughs> another eye over there that we're gonna need to hit. Let's get this chest right now. Fortunately, we need to do this room because there's a good item right there. To you, with the, with the bow and arrow, not a little low. Get down, please. There we go. That one moves left and right. Another door right there. That's the door we came out of. Item isn't actually there. At least yet. Go away. No, get back, please. Okay. Until I hit that. All this eye trauma I'm causing in game has caused my eyes to water. Why? And all that work for a joy pendant. Yay! All right, back to this. I'm gonna do this way. A lot quicker than waiting for platforms to get in place. There we go. Bombs can go back on if they want. In fact, they would probably help. Please tell me the keys in this room are gone. Ah, speaking of bombs, there is a door right there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Good. So, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to get some guys to help me here. Get over there. I think one is enough. Just wait. Haha! -ha. Good throw. Hello, door. And hello, guys, again. Now, you might notice there's nothing happening on this room right now. You're gonna see this a lot as well, where it says check. A design that reflects wind is right here. There's also a design that reflects the Triforce, which I have not really mentioned a lot for new people, but the Triforce is a symbol of Zelda. It is a very powerful object that we will learn later on in the game, but whenever you see this wind emblem, and the Triforce emblem, right next to one another. Stand on the Triforce, or stand on the Wind emblem. Pull out your Wind Waker. You're gonna hear that chime, which means you did something correct. And just play the the Ballad of the Winds. I'm at Wind's Wackrium. Oh, balls! Leave me alone and leave me alone. Man, I managed to get both of them in one mouth open. Goodbye and goodbye. And you both drop item spheres for me. You're so nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'll get this one and then I'll I'll get the get the goody chest that just popped up. Hello, goody chest. 
Oh, that was close. There's our second treasure chest. Good me. <laughs> good me. That 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 English good. I reverted to my caveman status of saying literally no verbs. So, unfortunately for us, we still need to get the Mr. Skull, Mr. Mr. Skull, Mr. Statue Guy. Whoa, what was going on with my controls there for a moment? We need to get up there, so get on there, statue. Fortunately for us, Link is a little heavier than one statue. Two statues. Maybe even three statues. That should be good enough. Yep, and it is good enough. And we have the key from that other room, so... Hello, unlocked door. Ah, but if you notice here, there are some uh, lasers guarding this thing. So, and we need to get close enough to turn those lasers off, or we could just simply step on the button. And that guy cannot uh, really exist with the lasers in the way, so I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, just this. There should be. Looks like those laser turned back on. I should be able to. Unless I have to do what I literally thought I had to do. Which I probably do. I probably have to. I was wrong. The lasers hurt me. They don't hurt the statue. Because what I have to do is jump off here, glide over the lasers, and now I get to use this. Well, first I gotta call him. I tell you, there was nothing nearby to control, because technically he wasn't alive to control with. Now he should be. Which is good, because I'm trapped over here right now with these lasers blocking. However, if I put him on the, pla on the platform, he can survive the lasers, because he has no skin. Oh, I thought there was a cutscene there. Everything looked like it froze, because I was expecting a cutscene. Well, let's pick him up now. Lasers are no longer a problem. Neither is this. Fortunately for us, that certainly sounds like a problem. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away. Oh, I you can sometimes hit him twice in a row. And goodbye, Wizrobe. We need to keep these platforms a little a little bit more stable. So let's uh let's throw multiple items. It should be. I think it should be just one One cancels out the other, so. Two would keep that up when Link's standing on it. Three should probably keep it up when we're carrying the statue. Whoop, in fact, let's test this out right now. Yep, my theory is correct. However, I don't, I don't see that staying up there. And there's only two of those things. And Mr. Statue the third and me. Let's just throw all of them on it, just to be, just to be extra cautious. This is the last thing we're doing in the episode anyway, getting the final! Oh, well, so much for that statue. Never mind, he appeared right back here. You're so nice. Being right there when I screw up. Should I count that as a fail? It wasn't really, really a fail. It was just me killing an enemy, a potential enemy. Those things can't come to life. Oh, sorry, Mr. Statue the Third. There we go. As long as they don't come to life and walk off the platform, everything's good here. Thanks to these guys, we now have a quick travel way to get up further into the into the tower. So, I think we're going to save this for the next episode. It's been about 25 minutes right now. So, on the next episode of The Wind Waker HD, 
we're going to be entering this portal, which should take us to the other, uh, the higher floors of the area. We've now successfully gotten every single item in the first and second floor. There's one thing in the third floor, and just the boss. In fact, I don't even think there's a boss key, unless that item on the third floor is the boss key. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. All right, why can't I... Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Grab onto the... Oh, look at that! Oh, that was so close. Thank God Banjo made it. He just started tumbling down, and I tried to get, tried to get him to grab onto that thing. All right, so what, what Banjo do? What can I do? It's just Banjo. I don't think I can do anything.